Welcome back to my channel it is Brittany so you guys saw the quick application process of this so when I this video is brought to you by Julia hair so shout out to them for sponsoring another video so the application process for this wig was pretty easy use the got to be glue in the black bottle and I didn't apply it all over the front of my hairline I don't really do that that often anymore with my wigs especially if I'm wearing it as a middle part but I'm wearing this as a side part right now because I felt like it looked a lot better. Um, when I was wearing it as a middle part, it looked it looked pretty weird to me. So I was like, let me try it as a side part. Um, I believe this wig is either 14 or 16 inches. And I decided to go ahead and um, cut it a little bit because it was the 16 inches on this is pretty awkward with uh, the density. It looked very like stringy. So um, cutting it to this lens, I think made it look a lot better, um, as well as turning it to the side and getting this feathered bang going on. I think it looks a lot better. Um, so this wig is 150% density, if I'm not mistaken. Um, if it's a different density, I'll have that listed in the description box for you guys with the rest of the specs and the link to purchase this wig if you're interested. Yeah, so I just felt like the 16 inches with the density was very stringy and I've never had a 150 density this thin. So it wasn't that flattering as a middle part and I switched it to the side part and it just looks so much better. Yeah, so as far as the pros and the cons with this wig, I have two cons with this wig. The density, it just was more on the thin side, but for some people that's probably what they prefer, especially since it's still summertime and it's still very hot, this could be a really good option for you if you want a longer bob, but you don't want that thickness. This is a silky texture and it's lightweight, but I felt like it was more thin than anything in my opinion, but it doesn't look that way as a side part. And the length was just kind of weird, so I just wanted to go ahead and cut that till I did that, but that's not a huge con. And that was a quick fix. I just did, took off about two inches and, you know, did a slight bump on the ends and I think it looks so much better. Um, so you have to play around with your wigs because I was definitely kind of like, I'm not feeling it when it was the middle part. So as far as the pros go, I think this color is very beautiful, very summery. Um, I feel like this definitely looks good on a variety of different complexions. Um, and I've tried a color like this last month with something a bit longer. Um, I do like this color 
in this length, like it's in moderation. I think it's just, just really nicely done. And another pro to this wig, this is a more, Julia Hair is one of those, you know, human hair companies that's more affordable. Um, these wigs, this particular wig starts off at $59 and then goes up to $290 the more length and specs you add to it. So um, if you're looking for a human hair wig with color on a budget, then check out Julia Hair because they do have some good options for people who are on a budget. Uh, the lace on this wig is a darker lace, so it's definitely gonna work for deeper complexions. Um, all I did to make it work for me was just put a lighter powder on top and it blended down pretty well. Now, it's this like melt melt lace. It's not gonna be like some of the other higher end companies that I've tried, but it's, it's pretty decent lace and you can make it look natural. It's just all about your application and you know, how you lay your lace. Yeah, and I have a little bit of my edges out over here because I don't have it adhered down and everything and I just have some of my edges gelled down and I don't think it looks bad. I think it looks pretty good. Yeah, I feel like this is pretty beginner friendly too. You don't have to do too much to make this, this work for you. I just have this area right here glued down and that's it. Um, but really and truly before I put any got to be glued on it. Um, the lace was laying pretty flat because I adjusted the strap so it laid more flat to my head. And this was a very comfortable um, big head friendly cap. So if you have a smaller head, you might have to adjust your straps a little bit more. But if you have a big head like me, it's gonna be very comfortable and that's something I appreciate. So um, I think that's it overall. If you're, again, if you're looking for something that's more budget friendly and it's a human hair wig, this could be a good option for you. I just was not feeling the density of it and that kind of awkward length that it came in. So if you are interested in this wig, I'll have direct links down below to where you can purchase it. Shout out to Julia Hair for sponsoring another video and shout out to you guys for tuning in to another video. Um, and if you're new here, please consider subscribing and turn on your notifications so you'll be notified every time that I do another upload. And so you can be a part of Premiere Squad every time I do premieres. It's a lot of fun. Um, and you get to chat, chat with me in real time as we watch the review together. Yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.